Is private label dead? Is Amazon FBA too competitive to enter nowadays? If you're interested in starting an Amazon private label business, it's probably because you want to achieve your own personal financial value, which totally makes sense. But the landscape has certainly changed. A lot of people ask us, is it still worth it? Is it too competitive? Can we still, still make money? If you're interested in knowing the answer, then stick around because we're going to discuss this further. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Nick Young, and we started Seller Tradecraft to create a resource for budding entrepreneurs to learn how to sell their first products on Amazon as a private label business. I personally run an eight-figure e-commerce Amazon private label business. That means we sell over $10 million worth of private label products a year. And combined between both me and Fernando and Anthony, we've, we've sold in total over $25 million of products on Amazon alone. Now, right now, I'm speaking to you from Mexico City. Fernando, Anthony, and I, we decided to take a month break, travel the world, um, and just kind of really get a sense of what it's like to live in a different country. You know, I'm personally grateful for being able to have the opportunity to do this and building a business that allows me to have the resources um, to be able to travel the world and experience new things uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, what we're gonna to discuss today is we're gonna discuss whether or not Amazon private label is saturated. Because this is a question I get asked a lot. A lot of people always wonder whether it's too competitive, whether it's too late to enter. And so I really wanted to take some time to address the opportunity that is Amazon and also you know, address all the legitimate concerns that people have about the industry. At the end of this video, I hope you get some valuable insights and you know, make a decision on your own as to whether you think this business model is a right fit for you. Now, the first thing people are really concerned about is the fact that there's increased competition on Amazon. And there's certainly truth to that. It's not like back in the day in 2010 to 2013 where you could literally just put up a listing and it would sell, right? Now, a lot of people have heard about Amazon. People can't ignore Amazon. And that's why a lot of people started entering the market. Now, if we just break down the numbers, let's go, just go ahead and break it down just so you guys have a sense of perspective. As you guys know, most of the people selling stuff on Amazon are people who are like me, third-party sellers, meaning they use Amazon's platform to sell their own products. This makes up roughly 50 to 60% of all of Amazon's inventory. Now, as of 20, 2016, there were 2 million third-party sellers, sellers like me, on the Amazon marketplace. Okay, that's quite a bit. Now, in 2017, that caught fire, and in 2017, they added a million new third-party sellers. So yes, there is truth to the fact that it is a lot more competitive. There are a lot more people entering the market. There's a lot more knowledge being shared about best practices in terms of how to sell your private label brand on Amazon. But one thing you have to recognize is that Amazon has also grown in kind. Okay, if we actually break down the numbers, it's important to also recognize the fact that Amazon has, has just penetrated the US market. Okay, currently they represent, um, if you break down the numbers and you can look at this in reports, they currently represent about 44% of all online e-commerce sales, which is massive. But if you actually break down the total sales numbers against all retail sales, that only represents 4% of all retail sales, and that includes in-store sales. Okay, so as you can expect, when the years go by, the number, the amount, or the penetration of how many people prefer to shop online, especially as millennials become, you know, have more and more purchasing power, is that the amount of retail sales that go towards e-commerce is only going to increase. And Amazon's market share is only going to increase. Right, so Amazon by the year 2022 is projected to increase to 9% of all online retail sales. Now, I actually broke down the numbers. In 2017, all right, Amazon did $175 billion in online sales in just the US and North America. Now, at this growth rate, all right, and these are all projections, by 2022, that number is going to increase to $457 billion. Okay, that's more than a 2x increase in total online sales for Amazon alone between now and 2022, which means that there is more than double the amount of demand that will be needed for people to supply to, to buyers on the Amazon marketplace. So the answer to this question is it's, it's com complicated, right? There are definitely more sellers, but there are also a lot more buyers, right? And Amazon is projected to increase by a massive amount in just the U.S. alone. Now, if we're talking about that just the US, let's just stick to it first. There are no other online competitors that are even close to where Amazon is currently. 
All right, Amazon has at least 10 year head start in terms of their infrastructure, in terms of you know, their fulfillment network. Uh, probably the second closest marketplace is Walmart. And even then, they're very far behind in terms of sales. And I know this because I've sold, I sell on Amazon, on Walmart, on eBay. And so what this tells me is that Amazon is really here to stay for the long haul. Okay, and not to mention Amazon is heavily investing in resources overseas. They've grown by a massive amount. I think the number is like 150% year over year in prime subscriptions in Canada alone. They're also dramatically growing in Germany and the UK. Um, and there aren't many other competitors within those markets. So what this means is that by, in, in my experience and in my opinion, you know, learning to sell a private label product on Amazon is only going to be a more important skill set as the times continue because more and more companies are realizing that they can't avoid uh, selling on Amazon. Personally, it's my opinion that as more and more people continue to shop on Amazon, people will expect to get access to all the things that only Amazon can provide. And so I'm very bullish on the fact that, yes, it's a little more competitive than what it was a couple years ago, but there's still so much more money to be made because there's still so much potential room for increased growth in sales. And, you know, I also believe that, you know, Amazon is the future of e-commerce. They fully penetrated the market in terms of online e-commerce sales. They're the dominant player. There aren't many people close to them. And it's making less and less sense for people to start their own Shopify stores because Amazon, people are expecting all the services that Amazon is able to provide, including two-day shipping, all the fulfillment networks, all that kind of stuff is going to be expected. And more and more people are starting their search for products on Amazon.com as opposed to going to Google to search for the Shopify site. Now, at the same time, I also want to recognize the fact that, yeah, it's totally more difficult to rank a product now on Amazon. And so, um, you know, here's the reality. Selling a generic Me Too product is just no longer going to cut, right? It used to be the case that you could run giveaways on a product that was exactly like another product for the same price and you'd be able to rank better and it's all about buying reviews um, and then buying, buying giveaways. Um, that's just no longer going to cut it anymore. You need to be smarter as an Amazon seller and you need to sell something that's of better perceived value to your end customer. Okay, um, whether it's through unique design, a better offering or better pricing, you know, sellers who understand how to merchandise their products effectively to be different from their competition are the ones that are really going to win in this environment where Amazon is cracking down on sellers who rely on hacks and giveaways. Okay, that's the problem. I think nowadays we're conditioned to believe that the only way to be successful on Amazon is through giveaways and hacks. The reality is that if you know how to merchandise a product, you know how to evaluate your competition, you know how to read the market and choose the right product, everything, everything becomes easier. You rely less on these hacks and giveaways and you're relying on the fundamentals of what makes a business on Amazon work. And that's really how the market is changing. Yeah, these giveaways and hacks are less and less effective, and that means you're gonna to have to be even smarter about merchandising and finding the right products. Remember, Amazon is gonna grow an insane amount in the next couple of years. So it's gonna be really important that you focus on improving these skill sets, which are gonna last you know, for the long term, you know, with as Amazon evolves and changes, because they are looking for people like us who understand how to identify demand for a product and to supply that demand with a product that people find of value. So it's gonna be more important than ever for people to have that kind of skill set and to be able to relay that to Amazon's end customer. And they're never gonna phase that out because in the long term, that only helps, helps their product selection and helps their inventory for the long term. Now, I know this because I personally launched over 250 products on Amazon, and these are all private label products. And I've made a ton of mistakes, okay? Um, I've chosen very competitive products, and what I realized was the fact that you know the most important fundamental is knowing how to value your competition and knowing how to read the market to identify products um, that are in high demand but low supply. Okay, and and that's essentially how you win at Amazon. This perspective and knowing how to work on this is going to future proof your Amazon business because Amazon is not going to favor people who understand the latest tricks or rely on the latest hacks. They're going to favor people and they're never going to push away people who understand how to give their customers what they need right? Um, and provide something of value to those customers in a category that is not very competitive. That's something that's always going to stay and that's something that Amazon will never phase out. So, so what I mean by this is that the better that you hone in on the skill set and the better you understand how to read the market, how to understand your competition, the easier everything will become. And I know this because I don't do any giveaways. I don't do any hacks, okay? All I do is select the right product and also uh, market the product and everything is actually way easier because I've chosen a category and a niche. Um, that is not competitive. And that's really what it boils down to. Now, uh, hopefully uh, so far I've addressed a lot of the concerns that people have. Yeah, I mean, let's be real here. 
it's not what it was before. It used to be the case that you could just put a product up and it would stick and you'd be making money. Okay, but, but that is far and few between now because more and more people are entering Amazon. At the same time, there are more buyers entering Amazon and Amazon's share of, on, of retail sales is only gonna increase, okay? More and more people are gonna buy online, especially as millennials start buying homes. And uh, Amazon is poised to be the dominant player within the e-commerce market as more and more people uh, push their preference needs online. Now, at the same time, a lot of people ask, is it profitable to sell on Amazon anymore? Um, the truth of the matter is that Amazon does take a hefty amount right off your margin. They take 15% for the referral fee. On top of that, depending on the size of your product, um, they could take anywhere from 30 to 40% in addition to that. And so, yeah, I mean, I think it's really important that you really understand your numbers. Okay, You really, really understand your numbers when it comes to selling a product on Amazon. It's super important um, that you bake all the costs of fulfilling your product into the actual cost of selling on Amazon. Um, and when you have those numbers nailed down, it'll become a lot easier for you to make a profit and make this business model worth your while. Okay guys, I hope you found that useful uh, and I hope you have a better sense of whether or not Amazon Private Label is dead. Again, my opinion is it's not dead. There's still a huge amount of opportunity, but it's really important that as sellers, we modify our approach to how we sell on Amazon. Now, if you're interested in learning more about um, the things that I talked about, whether it's learning to value your competition, learning to select the right product, and making sure that you know your numbers, at Seller Tradecraft, we are offering a free private label MBA workshop, which you can join down in the link below. Make sure you join. Um, we'll go over a lot of the fundamentals of what we talk about and why um, it's so important to nail these things down and how you can build success for the future and build a business that lasts a long time um, by implementing a lot of these concepts that we apply to our own businesses. Um, I hope to see you guys there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Have a good one.